a review on the Heritage Rough Rider 22. Got this off Classic Firearms. Three reasons I bought this gun. I think it's awesome. And one is the versatility. This thing can shoot anything. 22 shorts, 22 longs, 22 long rifle, standard, high velocity, and the super velocity, 22 stingers or Aguila super extras. If you compare that to semi-automatics, say the Marlin 795 or a Ruger SR22, on those you're only supposed to shoot the 22 LR. So in this day and age when you can't find any kind of ammo and this thing can shoot everything, that's awesome. So that's one of the reasons I bought it. Second reason is the reputation for the awesome reliability. This thing goes bang every time, as they like to say. And one of the reasons is it has a simple, simple design. Simple moving parts. All you do is pull it back and pull the trigger. And that's it. Third reason I bought it is we got the six and a half inch barrel here. So you're going to get more accuracy and you're going to get better velocity compared to a short barreled gun. And really, you may get two to three hundred more feet per second compared to, you know, a two inch or three inch barrel. So pretty big difference. Very close velocities to a, a, a rifle, a 22 rifle, even pretty close to it with the six and a half inch barrel. So those are the good things about it. The bad things, which I knew going into it, but the sights. If you see it, you've got the front notch and a ramp, a notched ramp there. You can buy the adjustable sights. They're about 30 bucks more. To me, it's not worth it. These things are on there tight. Where I've read some reviews about the adjustable sights possibly, you know, getting easily knocked around. The other part is, the, I mean, and again, I knew going into this, but it's the loading part of it. It is kind of a pain to load. It's not very fun and to get the shells out because this cylinder does not swing out. So I'm gonna show you guys how to load that here. And again, like I said, the versatility on this thing is awesome. I'm shooting 22 Calibri powderless ammo. So for indoor shooting, you could use this. So now you may wanna check your states to make sure it's legal. I do have a safety, push that up there while I load it, pull it to half cock. If you guys can see this here, I load one at a time, turn, and it does kind of turn right into place. So you don't really have to get it exact. It locks kind of in each spot. Kind of hard to do well. I don't have my eyes there. And that's six. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot it. Got a good backstop here. This thing's not going anywhere. That was it. So then put the safety back on and then into half cock and I eject each shell. So there again. And that's it. Another thing about this, we have a steel barrel, a steel cylinder, as per the heritage site. Now it did not say what grade of steel it is, but it is steel. And then the frame here, all the way down, is aluminum. So there you go. I think it's an awesome way to be able to go to the range and shoot for cheap. Now if you're going to the range, you're spending $18 an hour to shoot at an indoor range, maybe not the best option, but if you can shoot some, somewhere 
where it's free or very cheap to shoot, maybe a conservation area type place, I would say this is awesome. I mean, with how hard 22 ammo is to find and as accurate as, accurate as it is, I mean, this thing's awesome. So I'm giving it five stars and a pretty good deal for the price.